Hey YouTube, this is Miguel aka Amberlander. Um, today I'm going to be showing you my UA deck profile for the September 2018 format. Uh, now, I do not have a side deck that I'm going to show you, uh, just a few extra deck cards. And uh, I built this deck to be as consistent as possible uh, to reduce breaking. Uh, so, uh, I've been running the deck for a while already, so I pretty much know how. Um, how often the deck breaks and uh, whatnot. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. Uh, you're still gonna run the three midfielders regardless of stuff. The key card to summoning your monsters. Uh, two mighty slugger, uh, basically our mateys. Uh, I only run it at two as well as perfect ace, uh, your negation. Um, one uh, dreadnought dunker. I only run him at one uh, due to the fact that he does require two tributes if you do have two tribute summon to get him out because sometimes you don't always have midfielder in your hand and uh, having two uh, dunker in your deck is completely useless especially when you draw both of them to your hand uh, one UA goalkeeper works really good to protecting your monsters during your opponent's turn uh, from battle or card effects but it only protects them once. Uh, this card, UA Blockbacker, it used to be really relevant. Uh, however, he, he cannot stop Link Monsters, and that's that's been a big major problem with this card. Of course, he can still stop uh, Fusion Fusion Monsters, everything else, XYZs, and uh, Rituals. Uh, but he does not work against Link Monsters because due to the fact that they don't change battle position, and he won't be able to activate because you cannot change the battle position of a link monster. Uh, one UA Rebel Rebounder. Basically to summon a uh, UA monster from your graveyard or from your hand. Uh, now what I went ahead and added to this deck was a Kaiju Engine. Uh, there's too many monsters that people run nowadays that have a, activate, a trigger activation to negate a card effect and uh, playing these right over their monsters can uh, give you the edge to being able to set up uh, whether you're putting up stadium or if you're trying to summon uh, another UA monster and uh, one photon thrasher basically if you need to tribute summon and uh, you have Rota but you have a midfield in your hand uh, you can always add this guy he helps out a lot uh, for the spells Double power jersey. Basically, you have slugger, you have dunker. Depending on what monster your opponent has, uh, this actually is a really critical. And you can pretty much OTK your opponents uh, depending on what they have. If they have a weak monster, you can OTK them. Uh, still with the triple UA stadium. Basically. Uh, uh, summon a UA, add one to your hand, special summon a UA, all your monsters gain 500 attack, and that includes all the monsters that aren't even UAs as well, those also gain a, a 500 attack boost, uh, even after UA stadium is destroyed, um, they still keep the 500 attack, and uh, this is really good in a case like that. Uh, triple UA signing deal, special summon a UA from your hand, uh, I mean from your deck, uh, Basically, if you don't have midfield in your hand, you can bring him out from the deck. If he's in your hand already, you can bring out a different UA monster. And uh, possibly if you open up if your first turn, you can basically start the duel off uh, with two UA monsters on your side of the field. Uh, triple Forge Burial Good. Uh, basically, you want to add that penalty box to your hand. I mean, you want to pitch the, the penalty box from your deck to the grave is basically so you can search out your either San Diego Stadium or Jersey this is this is really good double twin twister basically just stop uh, take out new opponents back row uh, also you can also discard penalty box as one of your cards then get the search twin twister is really effective one Rota uh, Basically, get midfielder into your hand or photon thrasher if midfielder is already in your hand. One storm fourth. Um, it's 
Mighty Slugger, Perfect Ace, Rival Rebounder, you run 5 in your deck, uh, you want to keep this, take out your opponent's monster. Galaxy Cyclone, you can use it, um, same thing, back row, not only that, you can take out your back row, which would be penalty box, and then get the search. Uh, sometimes uh, in critical situations, I've targeted penalty box on my own hands, uh, just so I can get the search. Now, I've added card destruction, uh, basically, just so you can try to speed through your deck. If you brick, this can actually save you if, if, you, didn't, if you didn't draw UA to summon, uh, you can discard your hand, just draw, redraw. One called by the grave, uh, you want to activate stadium, you want to activate um, signing deal, uh, they, they ash blossom you. This can go ahead and stop it, uh, slow it down, and uh, you'll be able to get that search or summon from the deck. One interrupted guide your slumber. Uh, basically, your dark hole, clear up the field, get get your kaiju out, get put the stronger one on your side of the field, and also get that search the next turn for that last kaiju. Hopefully, you do open up with this and. Not the other kaijus. Well, depending on the situation, because sometimes you do want to open one up with the kaiju monster instead. And one upstart goblin. That's all my spells. The trap cards. Uh, triple UA penalty box. Basically, your searchers. So you can get uh, power jersey, stadium, signing deal, and. Uh, you have Phyllis Burial Goods, you have cards like Twin Twister, Galaxy Cyclone, uh, Card Destruction, and also Perfect Days. Uh, you use Perfect Days' effect, discard penalty box. Not only that, but it also has the field effect. Yeah, you opponent battles a monster, uh, you banish that opponent's monster. Uh, it's really effective in dual links as well. Um, one Paleozoic Morella, basically another Phyllis Burial Goods. Uh, just pitch a uh, penalty box and one Felix of Swords of Revealing Light. Uh, a lot of people don't run this card, but I use it and um, it's actually very good. You pay a thousand life points if it's on the field, stop an attack. If it's in your grave, you can banish it and um, and the, they can't hit you directly that turn. That's basically it for the, the main deck. Uh, there's not really much to the extra deck. Uh, because basically most of your plays do come from basically the UA monsters attacks itself. Uh, most of these are rank fours. Uh, Ragnar Zero, Diamond Crab King, Focusaurus. Uh, that can be a game ender. Uh, you have two um, level five UAs on the field. Destroy your opponents. Uh, destroy your opponent's monster. Uh, inflict da uh, damage to your opponent's life points. Uh, Based on the attack of the monster. Uh, and then right after that you want to go into this guy. Overlay this guy into it. And then just go ahead and hit your opponents. That can be a game ender. Uh, Blist Dweller. Uh, the Heroic Champion Monster. The Blade Armor Ninja. Uh, Exit on Knight is back. So I went, went ahead and put him in. That's why I have Photon Thrasher. Uh, he can be really effective now. Uh, one Cowboy. Uh, an Excalibur, one Black Ship of Corn, one Heartland Draco, uh, another another game ending card uh, to hit your opponent directly. Uh, this guy is really effective as well. Um, basically, if you have your opponent at 1,000 life points or less, you can go into this guy and basically um, give your opponent very few options. And one Silent Honor Arc. Uh, and once again, I didn't have a side deck. I'm to to show you. I uh, just wanted to show you the deck itself. If you have any questions or comments, uh, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys again. Thank you for watching.